Second race of the evening at Lottig Sire Stake A Division for two-year-old pacing Colts. First of 9,600 has Nibbler, Tobin's Prophet, Hamak Charmer, Saltwater Johnny, and Elm Grove Rustwind. And the two-year-old Colts are off and uh, pacing. First off the gate, that is Tobin's Prophet to take charge as they race into that first turn. Almack Charmer crossing over will pocket up second. Away on a read out the rail is Nibbler in uh, three. Caught outside a fourth. This Saltwater Johnny and Elm Grove Restwin is the fifth cold away as they race into the back stretch. Out of the opening quarter, Tobin's Prophet will control the pace. Is out there a clear two length lead. Almack Charmer is giving chase second. Nibbler is now a little closer there in uh, three, followed to fourth by Saltwater Johnny. Elm Grove Restwind sits back there trailing in five. Their single file as they continue midway round the upper turn. Opening panel was reached in 29 seconds flat. Tobin's Profit off the turn still maintains that two length advantage on Hal Mac Charmer racing along the rail second. And another two and a half lengths back is Nibbler in three. Followed by another gap of two back to Saltwater Johnny. And trailing is Elm Grove Restwind. They continue into the lower turn, still no change in positions as they continue on to the 5.8s. And Tobin's Prophet is the unchallenged leader. A two-length margin on Almack Charmer as they continue on to the backstretch. The half reached in 59 and 1. Now separating a little bit there now is Nibbler. Now some five lengths off the second place. Almack Charmer as they race to the backstretch and on past the three-quarter mile mark. It is Tobin's Prophet. Well in hand as they race on over to the 7-8s. Almack Charmer is the next closest pursuer up on the outside. Saltwater Johnny now overtaking Nibbler for third. Nibbler drops back to fourth. Elm Grove Restwind having some problems there at the back of the field as they continue off the turn. 128 and 3. Up and out of the pocket now. Almack Charmer is going to try Tobin's Profit in the stretch drive. But Tobin's Profit is asked for more and he has more. And it is Tobin's Profit. Reporting home a winner by a length and a half in the A division of the two-year-old pacing Colts. Finishing a third there was Saltwater Johnny. The mile in 157 flat. They were scooting on home, 28 and 2. Final quarter speed there for the front two. Tobin's Profit holding off Hamak Charmer. Uh, the only real surprise for me in here was uh, Tobin's Profit not going away at 1 to 9. He actually got let go at 1 to 5. <laughs> but anyway, Tobin's Profit, uh, third career victory, third driver. To get him to the winner's circle, Danny Romo, the trainer, of course, winning with him in his debut. Uh, Jason, the Blue Knight Hughes, had him winning in Summerside. And here's Gilles Berrio on board Tobin's Profit. Again, uh, sailing through fractions, 29, 59, and 1, uh, 128, and 3. And uh, he fired off a 28, and 2 final frame uh, to pace to a life best. 157 flat. Quick trip here for Tobin's profit to remain perfect. Uh, Hamak Charmer rode the pocket throughout, and then there was the rest. And uh, beating the rest, best of the rest, was five. Salt Water Johnny with Adam Murner picking up the catch drive. So a two, four, five, top three unofficial as Tobin's profit makes his way back to a Truro Raceway winner's circle.
Now back in the winner's enclosure, the winner of the second race, Lonnie Sire's take, two-year-old pacing colt, A Division, number two, Tobin's Prophet, a gallant son of Stonebridge Terror. Center of the nuclear high dam, southern end at blue. Read by William Williams of PEI. Now owned by Frank Brundle, Kevin Dory, and Bob Samara. Trained by Danny Romo, driven this evening by Gilberio. Jill giving Tobin's profit a new lifetime mark of 157 flat.